So, shots have been fired in the gaming world, or the PC gaming world. AMD has been talking about sort of making GPUs towards an introductory market, something more affordable for people to get their hands on. Because for a long time, PC gaming has always had the stigma of being far more expensive than console gaming. But in all actuality, in recent years that hasn't been too true. I mean, if you spent a little more on a PC setup, you'd have something that was, you know, leaps and bounds better than a console. But most console gamers never want to admit to this. They prefer to treat it like some sort of fallacy. Well, AMD has now put out the 199 Radon RX 480 graphics card and it's VR ready. Do you know what that means? Frankly, just by already saying that this is certified to power an HTC Vine or an Oculus Rift, it already kicks the living shit out of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Now, insiders have said about a few weeks ago, about a week, actually not a few, just about a week ago, that VR on the PlayStation 4 was abysmal, meaning that the PlayStation 4 couldn't power some of the VR things they were working on. That's why there's going to be the new PlayStation 4 coming out. I would assume the same is with the Xbox, who now wants to partner with the Oculus Rift. That's why they have the Xbox Scorpio or Jaeger, whatever the hell they call it, coming out, which I'm pretty sure both consoles, when they do hit, are going to pretty much leave those who are early adopters in the cold kind of sad, and I'm pretty sure it's going to cost more than $200. This graphics card right here for $200 gives you the same level of performance as a 980 or an R9 390X for $200. Both of those cards when they came out were $500. Well, the 980 was. Basically, two of these cards for $200 each come to $400. You crossfire them, they're better than a 9, I mean a 1080. Right there. For $400, you now have the same performance comparable to a 1080 or better than a 1080. These in Crossfire kick the 1080's ass and the ashes of singularity, which is kind of surprising actually because I thought the new Polaris or Pascal GPUs were supposed to be far more friendly with DX12. That's just right there. It's impressive as shit, man. If you already have a computer that has a decent enough CPU, because most games are really GPU bound, you buy this, stick it in, you now have a gaming PC. You now have a PC that's more powerful than a console. Right now, basically, from what I was reading, the new Xbox that they're going to create, that they're working on for 2017, is gonna have the same power as a 970. This right here is 980 level. And I'm pretty sure when the Xbox drops, the new one, it's gonna be around $400 at the least. So right there, you get two of these, SLI them, you just destroyed the new Xbox and PlayStation. Hell, it already destroys the new Xbox and PlayStation specs alone, this graphics card. Really, the stigma of PC gaming being too expensive is flying out the fucking window right now. It is. This runs on one six pin connector. So I think it only uses 150 watts. Wow. Two of these would actually be, do less power draw than my 980 Ti overclocked. Son of a bitch, man. Wow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, this really... The next time somebody who's a console gamer says to me, PC gaming's too expensive, I'm going to show them this graphics card. And I'm going to be like, this thing is more powerful than anything you'll get on a console for years to come. The, the new PlayStation, X, PlayStation Xbox, bro. Yeah, still don't comp... They still don't compare to this. All right. It's over. I, I'm pretty sure NVIDIA is going to try and fire back with the 1060, but I doubt they released a 1060 for $200. They won't. There's no way they'll put out the 1060 and it'll be in the same price bracket as this. I don't know, man. Wow. Oh, well. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for always tuning into my channel. I have a Twitter and Twitch. And uh, thank you very much for coming. <laughs>